Now joining me in studio, Recreation and Youth Services Coordinator, Amanda Florence. Hi again, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, good. I wanted to ask you, so um, how has the summer been? You've been doing so many events with Broome County Park. So. Yeah, we had such a successful summer and we are just so happy for all the community support through the summertime mm -hmm. and moving into the fall season. We hope to see the same, but yeah, we survived mm -hmm. the summer. Good, good, that's good, you survived the yes. summer. Yes. <laughs> I survived the summer too. Okay, so you have the fishing derby coming up. That's one of your fall events. So tell me a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so the Broome County Sports or Federation Sportsman Club actually hosts this event for the past 50 years. Mm -hmm. And we are just so happy to partner with them and help them continue this event. Um, to continue to grow each mm -hmm. year. So yeah, it's this Saturday, September 14th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Nathaniel Cole Park. It's free for youth from ages one to 15 years old. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have prizes every 15 minutes, so you don't have to catch a fish necessarily to win a prize. <laughs> okay, so good. it's just to bring community out and to give the opportunity for youth to engage in fishing for the first time, the second time, or the fourth time, mm -hmm. and just provide a low cost for families and provide the opportunity um, out there yeah. in Colesville. Yeah, a day of fun to learn new things. And um, so this year, it's in honor of Bill Holmes this year because he ran it for years. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so Bill Holmes was a member of the Broome County um, Federation Sportsman Club, and he mm -hmm. kind of took this event under his wing and basically grew it um, from Ossinango it started to mm -hmm. it grew so much they had to move it to Cole Park to have more space so unfortunately he passed away last um, year and in honor of him the club decided to name it the annual Bill Holmes kids fishing derby so we're happy to support them and he was a great man and we want to continue his um, love for youth and fishing for children yeah yeah you know I talked to his daughter and his wife and they there's a bench there now for him which is really nice that you guys were able to give to him so that's very nice of you guys because like you said took this under his wing and he really made it a big thing for the kids yeah and go ahead no i was just saying that bench was the like the least we could do for all that he's done for our, our park and mm -hmm. our community and that was one way we wanted to honor him and his family yeah, so what's like your favorite part of hosting this kids day and the kids fishing derby? Well, I think since social media got wind of it, we've been helping with that area of things. I think it really has grown, which is amazing because I mean, the attendance just keeps growing every year. So, you know, hundreds of kids get to come out and just mm -hmm. be able to have this opportunity it just inspires, you know, us to continue to do more events and partner with other organizations like the Federation um, Sportsman's Club. Mm -hmm. And is there like good fishing at Gold Park? Like I've never been yeah. fishing there. It's actually one of our more popular parks to fish at, so they stock it and yeah, it's a great uh, spot. So we encourage not just youth, but anyone to come out and fish at Cole Park. Okay, and do kids need to bring fishing poles? Is there fishing poles there that they can use? So it's encouraged to bring your own, but they will have extra fishing poles and bait provided um, for ch youth and children that don't have that um, okay. means at, at home. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. That's always nice to have, you know, able for the kids. And other than this fishing derby, you know, you talked about another busy fall. So can you tell me a little bit about events coming up? Yeah, I just wanted to highlight one last thing for the yeah, Kids Fishing yeah. Derby. They're going to be offering not only the prizes every 15 minutes, but free hot dogs, drinks, and chips. So okay. that's great for the mm -hmm. kids and the families as well. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves a hot dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Listen, I do. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we have our ninth annual scarecrow contest, which I will be on Thursday to talk more about that. Yes. And then we also <laughs> have our... I think it's our fifth annual Trunk or Treat, which will be held at Austin Ingo, both of those events. So we're okay. gearing up for that, and we're really excited for the fall season. Okay, perfect. And, you know, going back to the Kids Fishing Derby, how can people find more information or how they can even register or just come? So registration, that's a great thing you brought up. Registration <laughs> is the day of, so when you show up, um, get there a little bit before 10 since it starts at 10, um, and you can register right there at the park. So that way you don't have to do any pre-registration online. And if you any information, you can call the Broome County Parks Department or um, email us or... Okay. Yeah. All right, perfect. Call us on Facebook. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. I wish you the best of luck. I hope a lot of kids come out, and I'll see you in two days. All right, thank you, Avery. <laughs> yeah.
For those of you who might have missed those details, Broome County Parks partnering with Broome County Federation of Sportsmen's Club will be putting on the W. Bill Holmes Annual Kids Fishing Derby. This will take place at Nathaniel Cole Park on September 14th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be prizes awarded every 15 minutes as well as free food. To learn how to fish, bring your children ages 1 to 15 this Saturday. For more information, please reach out to Bob Haynes at 607-785-0939. And after